So hi, Gur. Hey, Sonic State. Uh, thank you for making me into Madonna in the 90s with this thing. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Superboot 2023. I want to show you some cool stuff that we have made. Um, what you're seeing is a project we've been working for over a decade on. It's called Art. And why is it called Art? Because we started with something that is called the Art Signal. You can see it here. I'm not sure you'll be able to focus. And the Art Signal was uh, a prototype we start uh, using and we realize we went on something that is absolutely amazing and with it we can do modules we could never imagine we could do before. Um, what R does in a, in a nutshell, it um, fixed the tuning problems of Eurorack. Art is a signal just like trigger, gate. For us in our Eurorack systems now we have art built in as another signal and we are using it to control pitch of oscillators. Um, so over the time we start developing modules as you can see here and we started with Octopus. Octopus is basically the main controller that we designed mostly for our own internal use but uh, the plus is that it has you know MIDI in, USB in and we are able to test it with a lot of uh, gear and you can see it has eight art outs. And then we develop modules like the ATX-1. And ATX-1 is a fully analog oscillator that has an art input. It can also be used in 1V octave or as an LFO, but its main thing is when it's in art. So you plug art out from here to art here. And what's going on inside the cable is instead of just, you know, 1V octave voltages, there's commands, there's, there's notes. It tells the oscillator what note you want to play. And the oscillator knows to uh, accept this and to follow. Now it can work on digital oscillator, analog oscillators. It really can work on anything, uh, on hybrid oscillators as well. Now once we start using it, we realize that, hey, what happens if I take three of those oscillators and I patch them together with art? I can play a chord and it plays really well together. So we realize we can start and patch what we call now discrete polyphonic synthesizer. That means we can build polyphonic synthesizer from separate oscillators and filters and VCAs and anything together and build either just, you know, kind of standard oscillator, filter, VCA, or we can have different filter on each voice. There's plenty of stuff that can be done in that sense that um, it's really up to the imagination what you can do with it. But then we also realize that, hey, you know, when we are patching all these polyphonic patches, we use a lot of cables, lots of modules. So maybe it's time to revive the project that uh, I started in 2012. I think you guys were there showing the first, world first polyphonic module. Back then it was using 1V Octave. It was, it was a good concept, but it just, again, didn't work well. Um, with art, we are able now to do it. So what we did is we started and uh, we made this guy. This is Vortex 6. Vortex 6 is, uh, is kind of a clone of the PPG Wave uh, 2.0 with 8-bit converters, the original ones from the 80s. It has six oscillator built in it and it has an art in. So if I go from Octopus and plug it in here, I'm going to have polyphony already available on these outputs. But then, once again, we say, oh, we have all this cable coming out. That's a lot of cabling. Let's start make fully polyphonic modules. To do that, we had to develop a cable. We call that cable a polytip cable, and I'll show you in a second. And the polytip cable patches to these jacks. These jacks carry more than one signal. They carry all the signals. So when I'm going to patch the audio out from the Vortex 6 into the audio in, of the octopus filter, I just patch six signals into here. Now the cable in its current standard can do up to eight. The octopus is actually eight filters. The octa stages is eight envelopes. The hex again is a six VCA. And you can patch with them with a polytip cable and you get a true polyphonic synthesizer in a matter of seconds. Now, 
one of the interesting thing about this is that you can build polyphonic synthesizers that you always wish to have. But you can also patch polyphonic synthesizers that never existed before. So that opens up a whole world of, you know, of sonic adventure that you can go on. So um, like with the, with the Vortex here, yep. uh, if we've got the, uh, the jack outputs for the oscillators, and we take the uh, the audio out from from this guy here. Yeah, the polytip out. Does it remove it from here, no. or are they still simultaneous? No, they stay the same. They are available, separate, and also, there's also a mix out of all of them. And so that just allows for more patching, like in, in exactly. with kind of systems that don't have. Uh, exactly. So yeah. if we look on the system, for example, you can see Vortex Six here. It's patched as Art in coming in from Octopus, giving it. What, what to play, and then we got the polytip cables. These are the black cables over here, and you can see that there's not a lot of cables, but there's a ton of signals running in here. If these were using the normal cables, then it will look more something like that. Because this is where a discrete patch is. Here we got three sections that are identical, ATX, a filter, and an envelope and VCA, three of them. So you can play a chord here, no problem. You can build your polysynth discrete that way with all these cables. And again, it's very interesting because you can put all kind of all things in, in the signal line. But when you use the uh, polytip cables, you are patching polyphony much quicker. So the whole thing works really well together. Now people have been asking me like, hey, so can I use my own filters and VCA and an and effect processor and whatever, like with art? Sure, absolutely. The only thing that art kind of like uh, uh, puts you is with the oscillators because the art oscillators is where the magic happens originally in the in the signal chain, um, and we are now in the process of making a lot of them, and I believe that more manufacturer will jump in as soon as they see the benefit of of what art do, and how well it works, and I hope that this will catch up and uh, people will you know enjoy what it does. For us, it's been a game changer because we are able to use the modular with other instruments in the studio now with no problem. And we are able to record uh, you know, something musical today, come up you know, a week later and overdub on it and there's no issues. Um, and it's, you know, another question came like, so does that mean everything is digital here? Everything is so like, you know, locked into pitch? No, it's not. It's actually very, very loose and you are controlling how much you want it to deviate from perfect pitch or not. And if things do go out of tune sometimes, and that happens because it's, some of these things are analog, then you just go on Octopus and click, click on Auto-Tune and it tells all the oscillator to tune themselves. So, so is it like by, is it, it on that cable, is it like bi-directional kind of audio going back so that it's listening to the... No, right. no, the, the art signal itself is, is a unidirectional and all it sends are just commands. There's no, people try to compare it to, I hear it, you know, when we talk to MIDI. There is some similarity in the, in the way the commands are, are uh, set, but there's no configuration. You patch it just like one V octave. You go from your controller, sequencer, whatever, into your oscillator, that's it. So what's going on uh, inside the cable is not different for the user than how one V octave was. Um, and the audio signals are just audio signals, normal ones. All, everything is, is all CV, gate, same standard URAC. There's no change uh, to that either. So it integrates very well with everything else that we've been done in the, been doing in the past and, and doing now. So it's not like we are breaking the thing. We are adding capability to what modular can do with art. Um, another thing that art does, and again, these are byproduct of the whole project, is that like Octopus, because of its um, its ability to talk to oscillators that are in tune. Uh, it takes uh, down the load that it needs to deal with. And therefore, the integration with a computer, for example, is so simple. You plug the USB in, you select Octopus on your channels, and it just goes. You don't need plugins, you don't need audio converters, you don't need anything expensive. Um, and obviously, another thing is that the cost of making an art connection is far cheaper than 1V Octave. 
to make one V-octave work, you need really good DC converters on the output and on the input to make things track well. And there's really just no reason to do that anymore. Um, with art, the cost is a fraction of what a, a good one V-octave uh, will compare to. So, um, yeah, this is this is project art in general. So, um, is this are these all these kind of art modules? Are they uh, available now? What's the kind of roadmap? Are, are you kind of shipping now? Or what and price points? Where yeah, are we sitting? So, um, they are pretty much ready. We have a lot of them actually in the factory right now. But what we are doing now is the how should I call it? The extended beta testing phase, where we are putting it to more people than the group that we've been using right now, just to see that it works in every situation. This is a new technology and require good attention to details, to fine tune everything. So I think we're, we're very close. Hopefully this summer we're gonna start ship at least the ATX1, Vortex, and Octopus. Um, price range is going to be 200, 300, 400. We're not talking about something crazy. Again, the, the opposite is, is true here because we're able to cut a lot of cost because we don't need to do expensive 1V octave conversions and things like that. Um, yeah, later on, the, uh, the more heavy polyphonic modules like Vortex 6 and Octopass and Octostages will start to roll out with the polytip cable. Um, Again, we are looking at summer. We are looking at prices again that are tip top prices. We've always been very reasonable, so I think you can count on us to keep trying doing that. Brilliant. Well, Ger, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs>